but he promised the giant that he would return the goose soon. So the boy went back underground again. He found his family's storehouse and rummaged for the goose. But the doctor here had an idea of his own. He wanted to breed more geese like this and didn't want to give them up. That decides guy into an argument. During the argument, the doctor revealed. The doctor revealed that he had been ordered to do so by the young man's housekeeper. It turned out that the butler already knew the secret of the keys and was secretly conducting experiments. He wanted to make more copies of the keys so that he could have all the golden eggs. Now that the whole thing was exposed, the butler didn't want to hide it anymore. He pulled out his gun and asked the young man to hand over the keys. But just then, the sky began to thunder. A couple of giants fell from the sky. The giant sensed the goose's danger and came down to kill him. Seeing that the butler still refused to listen, the giants knocked the butler over a dancing meters away. Soon the goose was back in the sty, guarded by the giants and the boy, and the sky was transformed from a wilderness into an oasis. From then on, the boy lived in the sky and never went underground.